Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You guys, we are working with some new lights. I have upgraded the ring light to a box light and we're still kind of working with it. Unfortunately, because it is so bright, I can't have my pretty little lights behind me. So I'm still gonna try to work that situation out because I do love that little back drop light. I don't know, I think I need to get something to still cover up the box light. I don't know. Y'all give me recommendations, okay? But I'm still kind of going for like the half darkish look. But let's go ahead and get on with this video. I hope you guys were not holding your breath on this review because it's been a year later. We're finally talking about season two of Yellowstone. If you guys are new, if you guys haven't checked out that review, I'll link it up here. But short story, I wasn't fully on a the bam wagon with season one. I was just like, oh, okay. We'll go, we'll give season two a chance. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know at the end whether I'm on the bandwagon. If I'm off the bandwagon while I continue watching the series, stick around. So I did actually finish season two like in December. I just haven't done the review. I totally forgot. Also, I meant to do the review for season two of The Handmaid's Tale and I've been wanting to watch season three and I think I accidentally deleted my review notes for that so that's like devastating so that's gonna be another really quick review i think i don't know i may end up just doing like a TikTok quick recap well not recap but like thoughts about it we're gonna go ahead and get on with this um i'll have time stamps below in case you just want to jump around on all certain things somehow i ended up going with updating you guys on four characters so we're gonna update the four characters and then we're gonna do final thoughts because that's not really what this was supposed to be. It was supposed to be just like an overall review, but somehow this is how it happened. And since I wrote it down, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. The big bad people of season two, the Beck brothers, they are no good people. They're basically just stone cold killers. They're willing to do anything and everything to basically get their way. They mess with the wrong family. You don't mess with a Dunnan family because they said oh no we always get our way like nobody ever fights back the Dunnans fight back they basically are trying to run out the Dunnans or whatever like basically get the land the land that's what all this is about right the Dunnan land how they have way too much it needs to be shared with everybody but yet they want to do a casino like how is that really i mean i get it financially it helps the worst of the worst that they actually ended up doing was of course coming after beth i mean they really uh did a number but then they also went off and kidnapped uh tate that's casey's and, and monica's son i think it was just for a couple hours or a day or whatever the way it goes you know he's all obviously very traumatized they send him off with some like nazi terrorist people shaved his head off poor little thing so um i'm kind of curious to know what he's gonna be going through in season three like what kind of trauma ptsd he's gonna be going but we're gonna move on to jamie jamie i don't know how to f what i don't know like do i feel bad for him do i not feel bad for him like he's just a weakly little piece of shit i don't know like definitely like he's been through some things and he has like a lot of like mental abuse kind of and mental and physical abuse obviously but poor thing like he they never let him like be great right it's like you gotta be great but you gotta be great for the family you can't be going off and doing stuff on your own he tries to go into like politics like to become the mayor or whatever something for the the city or whatnot but of course john his dad is all like no 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 that's not gonna benefit the family you need to stay and stay put where you are at this is where you are beneficial this is where i need you and of course dad's always trying to manipulate and control everything for his benefit right and of course it's like well he's being selfish but it's like no the dad you're being selfish the way that you're kind of handling it well micromanaging everybody we're gonna kind of just finish going on with the last character that i was gonna be uh talking about briefly that's monica monica goes through some things also this season you know her and casey they're separated and she kind of tries to move on and venture away from Casey. Like, can I live my life without my husband? They are on a break right now. She ended up doing a Ross situation where we're on a break. And then goes off and like ventures off and kind of makes out with her therapist, Martin, I think that is his name. Um, she also gets a temporary job at a university to kind of teach the real version of what happened with Christopher Columbus and discovering America. I mean, I never understand that. How the heck are you going to discover a location that already has people there? Anywho, we're not going there, right? We do see some injustice coming towards her, you know, for being Native American, uh, going to the store and 
how she's being treated and how the police treat her as well because of who well they don't know that she is a dead end. you know they look at her driver's license and it doesn't have dead in other words they would have left her alone because you know you don't mess with a dead end. she ends up calling beth not her husband and beth comes over here handles some shit mm -mm -mm, because you don't mess with beth because beth is a beast beast beth yes beth does a lot of stuff too this season i mean obviously like she always says she she be handling things and and making sure that jamie doesn't get into that office position and really just doing things and kind of also maybe rekindling things back up with um rip um oh i said i wasn't gonna be doing more than four characters but anywho we're gonna talk about them really quick they're kind of rekindled. We get flashbacks of kind of how their love interest first started. So it was really, really nice to kind of see, you know, their love for each other. Because even though they're kind of like, you know, from season one, I mean, obviously in season one you knew that there was something there. But this is literally how far back and where it started and it's really, really nice. Overall, season two, I enjoyed better than season one. I really like the Beck brothers. I feel like they really brought something to the table that was more at stake i feel like also like there was just a lot of stuff just happening overall like ooh, okay i kind of see what's going on here appreciate those last two episodes i think it was when really when things really were like ooh. am i now on the bad wagon of yellowstone this great show right that everybody claims everybody's like yellowstone that is LA. <laughs> not officially i am just like on the bumper of the wagon i don't know the edge of the wagon i don't even know the wheel trying to get on the bad wagon it's just like oh i don't know like do i want to go with you guys or not um at least sort of on it not like walking behind it like i was with season one the way that season three ended i'm like okay i want to see what happens with season three and i think that's the reason why i'm now i'm doing this review because i'm just like dude I do the review before I go off to season three and then I totally forget what happened in season two. Yeah, those are just kind of like my quick, not quick thoughts, kind of breaking down four or five characters, <laughs> not all of them. What am I ranking season two? I think it's still a streamable show. That's it for me today, you guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. You guys, I'm almost to 500. I need like seven more subscribers i think hopefully if you're watching this if you're new or if you've been here before and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button to help a girl out we do tv reviews movie reviews monthly wrap up tier list and we're starting to get into a little bit of board game fun yes all right guys that is it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>